Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anessa and I am an author from Toronto, Canada and I publish under the pen name A.N. Sage. I do a lot of videos on this channel about being an author, um, some tips and tricks that I've picked up along the way. I have a lot of advice for authors on different writing tips. Um, I also do a lot of behind the scenes and there's quite a few planner and stationary videos sprinkled throughout. So essentially everything that you need to right in this day and age is what you'll find on this channel. If that sounds like something that you want to be a part of, then I encourage you to join our growing community and to um, click the subscribe <laughs> button and make sure that you also click your bell notification so you don't miss any videos that come out. Now, we are in the month of Preptober. We're actually finishing up the month of Preptober right in time for Halloween. Very exciting. And I've been doing a lot of different videos to help people with Preptober and just um, getting myself ready for NaNoWriMo as well. As I've already mentioned, I'm traveling for the first, basically the first week of NaNo um, from the 5th to the 12th. And so I'm going to be writing on the go. And that's going to be an interesting kind of experience. But I'm very excited for this Nano because I'm working on um, a really fun project, one of my cozies, um, and that is a cozy that's coming out next year. Um, and so I'm very, very excited to work on it. But in the meantime, I also realized that I'm going to be working um, for this Nano in my brand new writing space. And I haven't done a walkthrough of the way I have my desk set up now where I work. Um, so I thought, why don't I do that now? And that way I can share with you guys my kind of preparation and what I'm doing to my writing space, um, what it's going to look like so that I am ready to hit Nano running when it's here, except when I'm on vacation, of course. And also to encourage you to maybe share your own writing spaces. Um, so you can send those to me an email or put them in the comments and kind of describe uh, where you're going to be working and what your writing space is going to look like because I'm very excited. I think where you write is such an integral part of uh, your writing experience and it could make or break an entire writing session if you're not in a comfortable space. So for me, because I just switched over my office, this for me now is kind of my little sacred area. And so I figured, hey, why don't we just go through everything and I can walk you through what it looks like now. Um, and then uh, you can see exactly where I'll be spending most of my nano. So let's get right into it. So first things first, I'm going to try not to hold the camera too, too much, uh, but this part is just too high up because it's a shelf. So I do have to hold the camera up, but I have a shelf and it's right above my desk and it has all the books that I have written so far, the paperbacks that I have. So we have um, some of the original Etherborn covers here. Then we have the full Etherborn series. These are only available in paperback right now and only on my website. So um, if you do want to get pretty much <laughs> this is the first series I've ever written, if you want to grab it, you can get it in paperback off my website. It'll be signed. It'll come with swag and the rest of that stuff. Um, we have Cartega, the two Cartegas. Um, then we have the entire complete Shadowhurst series. So eight books and one novella. Very exciting. And then above that, right there, um, I'm gonna move my finger away, is the uh, Witch of Shadows original audiobook. I have pulled it since then uh, because plans, but um, we have the Things of the River Hides, both the paperback and then the beautiful hardcover. It's my only hardcover, I love it so much. Um, then we have a Grave Roast and Cafe Au Slay, and then I'm going to be adding Killing Grinds to this on November 29th, which is very exciting. Um, last thing book related on the shelf are these two figurines. So that's Billy from Shadowhurst. And then we have Sid from Cartega. And I actually had these, uh, I guess they're like Funko Pops, um, but I had them made by an artist and I just really love them so much. Um, and then on the side of the shelf, I have this cute little plant. And that's the shelf. And I kind of tend to look at this for inspiration whenever I'm writing because it's literally right above my head. And it reminds me just exactly how far I've come. And then after the shelf, kind of uh, one level down from it, you can see the shelf sticking out over there. Um, we've got a little collection of inspirational art. This is my art. So I don't, if you don't know, um, I do have it linked below, but I own an Etsy shop and it's an illustration shop. It's called Glitter Fritter. Um, thanks to my husband for coming up for that with that awesome name. But um, I do a lot of um, kind of pastel goth, cute kawaii illustrations. Um, this is the main character, Mimi. Um, then we have Yum Yum the ghost. And then we have Winston the cat. And those are the three main characters. And there's stickers. There's bookmarks. The bookmarks are selling really, really well right now. Um, 
they're all kind of like cute and spooky and just very, very pastel -y. Um, There's also a vinyl die cut, so like sticker flakes, basically. There's these postcards that I have here, and they're like the premium touch postcards. Um, and I am more currently working on um, actually a uh, Oracle deck, and that's going to be the biggest project I've taken on so far because it's 22 cards plus packaging and all of that. And I'm almost done with that, and that's going to be launching as soon as I'm back on vacation. So I'm very, very eager for that. Um, I'm actually going to have a sample deck with me on vacation and take pictures with, which is exciting. But I have my three main cards that I sell in the shop up here for inspiration. Um, and then back there um, is actually a map of Shadowhurst. Um, it's kind of tucked into the back there, so it is hard to see. Um, I do give this map away in my um, Facebook group. There's a file with this if you want to download it. And it kind of lays out all of Shadowhurst and it also lays out um, fairy. So spoiler alert if you haven't read that far, but there are two worlds, two realms that would take place um, in this uh, series. But we have the human world and then fairy and everything is laid out and it's this really really gorgeous intricate map it took me forever to make it uh, but I do give it away for free because I thought people might want to have it um, and I am considering at some point doing something else with it but we shall see okay so next stop on our desk tour um, is we have obviously my main kind of um area which is my iMac um i had this iMac completely upgraded because i do use it for design and so i needed like the most ram the most memory everything i could possibly think of um so it's like top of the line but this is my main working area um i do have my shadowhurst um screensaver uh, wallpaper there again another thing you can actually get for free in the facebook group so make sure you join the sages in the circle on facebook um, i give away things there for free like this all the time like digital kind of stuff um, printouts things like that um, there's some behind the scenes chapters all of that so some fun stuff happening there but on the side here is a lot of pens so the first one um this little gate spade um it used to be a candle, so I just emptied it out. It says, except escape the ordinary. And I have some of my main bullet journaling pens in here. Um, behind um, are all my Tombow markers that I use for my bowl planner and also some for bullet journaling. Then on this little tray, I picked up this tray at Joe Fresh, I think. Um, but in this tray, we have some more things for bullet journaling. So I have switched over to bullet journaling, as you may have seen from my last planner video. But because I have, um, hope it can focus on this. I don't know if it is. I think it's more mainly focusing on the screen. Um, but I have my go-to bullet journaling supplies here, like erasers and clips um, and whiteout pens and all kinds of pens here. Um, so these are just easy to grab and they I do like um switch around of those then we have some crystals here and a crystal mat my hard drive this is if you can see it's like all purple in the back so this right here is the remote so I can change colors if I need to and then I have this is the newest edition but this is a <laughs> Karomi um phone stand look how cute it is that's adorable and then it made me so so that is kind of the main computer area and then of course over here uh, for all my courses um, i am working on a few more courses so um, i do have a cover design course out but this is the microphone that i use if i have to talk to students or if i have any conference calls or if i'm doing podcast interviews that's the mic that i usually use and then and then since we're doing screens, um, I also have uh, my Huion 24, um, 4, 24 inch 4K uh, drawing tablet here. And then on the desk, I just have my little glove and my drawing pen. Um, so right now you can see this is one of the designs that is going on the one of the Oracle cards. Um, so I'm just working on that currently. But this is the nicest drawing tablet. For those that don't know, I am also a cover designer, so not just an illustrator. I do a lot of cover design for some of uh, the best-selling authors on there, specifically in fantasy, although I am branching out now to a lot of different genres, and it's been really amazing to do that. But essentially, um, this is the tablet that I will be doing all of my work on for illustration and for cover design. It's fantastic. If you're looking for a drawing tablet and you've got some money to spend, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. So 
That's the tablet that you will find me on when I am not on the iMac. And then just on the side, I also have these headphones and they're on a little hook just hanging off the side of the desk. And then below this one, and I won't show it, but right below this, I have a little rolling cart um, that houses my printer and some printer paper for every day. And now for kind of the final step of the desk setup. So first and foremost, the mat that this is on, I know it's hard to tell. Let me just move this out the way but this is also glitter fritter and i'm trying to figure out um, shipping situation so i can add that to the shop at some point um, but that's the desk mat that i have i have my mac mouse here i of course have a coffee cup and this one says queen because i'm actually working on the gilded queens which is my um, ream subscription project that actually is going to have a pre-order up next week um so that is my themed mug for that project but the pride and joy of this desk is this keyboard. So I've showed it up before. I have pictures on my um, social media, but this is pretty much the nicest keyboard. Let me see if I can like bring this up for you guys. Um, this is an Evo Maker keyboard and it's the nicest keyboard I've ever owned. It's absolutely stunning. I love it. It's got a little TV screen that I put like a little Karomi um, little video on. Um, it's got this nice backlighting. You can change the backlighting to pretty much anything you want. And I just have it with this purple because I have everything kind of uh, glitter for their pastel dot themed. Um, I love this keyboard. This is what it sounds like. So it's not too loud. It, they're called, uh, what are they called? Flamingo switches. So that's the switch that's in there. So not blue, brown, whatever. They're called flamingo switches. And I love them because they're not too loud. The keys are, feel like butter on your hands. It is great. High recommend. I think it's around the $100 mark on Amazon. So you can actually find this one and it's just so cute. Um, then I have my wrist pad, which is a big fluffy pink cloud. Of course, everything themed. Um, back here is my laptop. Let me just take it out. So I've got my laptop over there. Um, it's like on the little laptop holder underneath, but it's of course got the skin on it for Gilded Queens. I love this saying. This is my favorite tagline of all my books. Every century, four queens must die. Um, so many people have told me this is the reason they subscribe and started reading. <laughs> Just so good. Um, then underneath, we have my painted Neo Smart. Um, and so I use this to write on when I am not writing it on this keyboard or straight on my laptop. Back here, we've got just two little crates here and we have things like cords and some external hard drives um, the hard drives are mostly for my design plans i try to separate them out as much as i can and so there's extra ones there um, and then the final thing on this desk are of course my planner so my two go-to's are right now the bullet journal that i have a video on um, and then a notebook right now so before this this is just a regular mole scale notebook prior to this what i actually had um was my the goals notebook that i got it was like an interactive you color it in and i just don't have time for that right now so for now all we have is a bullet journal right there and a notebook underneath and that's honestly all i need it's been working so well this minimal planning version of stuff that i just i can't recommend it enough for people looking to switch over and that is the full desk walkthrough let me know in the comments which part was your favorite um and if anything about this um, inspired you to want to get some of the stuff for yourself. Um, also, what do you guys think of Glitter Fritter? Um, have you gotten anything from the shop? Um, and uh, is there any kind of illustrations you want to see on there? I would love to hear anything that you might have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I hope you stay magical. And thank you so much for subscribing and being a part of this community. I cannot thank you enough. Um, we will have one more video next week. And then there will be no video the week that I am vacation. Um, so one video will be skipped. But after that, we are back in business. So stay magical. And I will see you next week for our last video before my vacay.